Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So it has been a while since I last posted. For the past two to three months, sobrang dami nangyari. And I took my board exam last March 17 to 18, 2021. Now, praise God, I am a registered medical laboratory scientist or registered medical technician. So many of you have asked me to share my experience or what to expect before board exam, during board exam, and then after the board exam. I'm not sure if same yung processing or yung protocols sa ibang um, profession, but for us, ito yung mga sabihin ko na ginawa ko during our board. So if you want to know, keep watching. Wala kong notes ngayon. But I am going, I'm just going to share to you my honest experience ko ano ba talaga yung ginawa ko. First is before the board exam, what did I do? So I started to prepare my papers two months before exam. You can check the Facebook page of the PRC or yung kanilang website. Makikita nyo doon kung kailan kayo pwede mag-apply for the schedule ng board exam na gusto nyo i-take. Example, for August board exam, makikita nyo doon kung April ba kayo pwede mag-apply up until when. So, kailangan nyo mahabol yun. So, first that you're going to do is you have to apply para sa board exam na schedule na gusto nyo. Then, after that, um, pupunta kayo sa, meron kasi doon choices sa website kung ano yung pinakamalapit na PRC branch sa inyo kung saan nyo gusto mag-apply. So, magkakaroon kayo ng appointment doon to apply for the scheduled exam. And then, after that, bibigyan kayo ng panaslip. NOVA ang tawag doon. So, ano ang mga dapat mong dalhin pag pupunta mag-apply ka sa PRC? So, dadalhin mo yung TOR mo. Yung TOR mo, dapat yung meron nakalagay doon na for for exam purposes only or for exam purposes only. Photocopy mo yun and then yung PSA birth certificate. Turn on, may, may payment din siya. So, ang ginawa ko is nagpay ako online sa website. The next thing that you are going to do is kailangan mo mag-decide kung if you are going kasi dun sa requirement para sa batch namin is either magpa-swap test ka 3 days before exam if I'm not mistaken or mag-quarantine ka for 14 days tapos valid for 3 days before exam. So, ano bang ibig sabihin nun? Example, ako kasi, board exam namin is March 17th. So, I started my quarantine ng March 1 up to March 14. So, valid siya up to 3 days. So, 14, 15, 16, 17. So, pasok pa. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-start ka ng February 28, example. So, lampas-lampas na siya. Dapat, 3 days, valid siya for 3 days before the board, date yung board exam. I hope na gets niyo yung point ko. San mo nga ba kukunin yung quarantine certificate? So, pupunta ka sa barangay nyo. So, sa amin, dito sa Fairview, dun ako pumunta. Then, you are going to request for a quarantine certificate. Wala siyang bayad, it is free. So, mag-request lang kayo. And then, sa akin, nung nag-request ako, ang ginawa is, nag nagsulat lang kami ng letter for the doctor na pipirma kung kailan ko, kung kailan ako mag-quarantine. Up ilang days or up to ganito and for what purpose. After that, after 14 days, papabalikin kayo. Pwede mo nang kunin yung um, quarantine certificate. So, nakapirma na doon yung doctor. And then, after that, you have to print the Annex. Makikita nyo yun sa website ng PRC. Annex A, B, and C. So, sa Annex A and B, fill up nyo yun, then ipapasa nyo on the day na exam. So, mostly first day na examination siya kinukuha. Tapos, i-attach mo doon sa Annex B yung quarantine certificate mo or yung swap. Saan ba magka-quarantine sa facility ba or what? Sa case ko is sa bahay. Okay. Pwede sa bahay, bawal ka lumabas, tapos kung pwede, walang lumalabas sana sa inyo. At the same time, meron dito mag-check sa bahay inyo na 
parang I don't know kasi <laughs> basta sa barangay working doon i-check niya naka-monitor yan binagmo-monitor sa yo during your quarantine period so before the examination ano po yung mga dinala so magdadala kayo ng plastic envelope one plastic envelope tapos isang um, brown long envelope tapos um, pencil so number 2 mongol and then eraser and ballpoint pen so yun yung mga dinala ko lang syempre don't forget your nowa that's the most important thing na kailangan mong dalhin then ayun ako kasi bumili na lang ako ng pencil pencil pen pero you can bring your own kasi susulatan niyo yung brown envelope niyo ng seat number ganun etc and ang tip ko sa board exam is bring lots of water bring light foods mga biscuits candies para sa akin ang ang dinala ko is biscuits candies and then i brought lunch so hindi kasi ako hindi ko kasi kayang hindi magkumain ng rice during lunch time since yung board exam is usually ang call time namin is 6:30 a.m. hanggang hapon na yun usually 4 p.m. so kailangan mo kumain may break time naman you have to wear, sa amin kasi sa batch namin, syempre it's pandemic, you have to wear um, N95 mask. Pwede namang hindi N95 surgical, pero mas maganda ko N95 kasi mas safe. And then face shield, yun, yun lang, yun lang kailangan mo. Tapos bring alcohol as well. Important din na sumunod sa protocol kasi ninja lang yung virus. So, you have to protect yourself all the time. So, as much as possible, wag mong tatanggalin yung patanggal-tanggalin yung mask mo or yung face shield mo. Hindi rin kasi pwedeng tanggal-tanggalin. So, the whole examination, may face mask and face shield ka. And it is for your safety din naman. You have to listen to what the proctor will tell you. So, step by step yung sasabihin nila, kailangan yung pakinggan kasi pag nagkamali kayo, pwede siyang maka-apekto sa result ng board exam nyo. So, you have to listen carefully sa instructions nila. Kailangan nyo pakinggan ng mabuti. Kaya nyo yan. Medyo may hero lang kayo <laughs> kasi may init. Pero still, if it is your dream, you are going to endure it and fight for it. So, kaya nyo yan. Yung sinishare ko sa inyo is yung mga what to expect during the board exam ng pandemic. So, ito is based lang sa experience ko. So, pwede iba sa iba, pwede iba sa inyo, sa batch nyo, or whatever. Ayun, after mo mag-exam, yan, tayo ka lang and alis ka. You cannot talk to anyone. Isa din na kailangan mo expect is bawal ka makipag-usap. Kahit break time. Siguro, ano na din, bawal talaga at saka, yun nga, um, pandemic din. So, para may iwasan yung spread ng virus. We have to really carefully follow instructions and guidelines. Wala masyadong ano ha, wala masyadong, walang sasakyan madalas, meron sasakyan. So, siguro pwede kayong mag-grab or um, mas maganda kung meron kayong taga-hatid at taga-sundo. So, huwag kayong magdadala ng car kasi walang parking. Sa ano ko ha, sa building, walang parking. So, mas better kung ihahatid kayo ng grab or what. Lastly is, yun nga, after board exam, sa amin, 7 days bago lumabas yung result. So, from la the last day of board exam, so, meron kayo makikita dun sa pinirint nyo, Annex A, B, and C. So, yung C, hindi nyo yan, ipapasa nyo lang yan after 14 days na nag-take kayo ng board exam. So, example, ako nag-take ako, di ba, ng 17. So, magbibilang ako ng ilang days, mga 14 days, kasi need mo mag-quarantine. So, Parang nire-require din nila mag-quarantine ng 14 days afterwards. Para din sa safety. Para sa safety mo din, sa safety na ibang tao. Kasi hindi mo din alam kung sa paligid mo, nung board exam may nadala kang kung ano. ba Kasi open yun. Maraming tao. So, para sa safety mo din. Safety ng mga tao sa paligid mo. Then, after that, yung Annex C, ipapasa mo yun sa email ng PRC. Isasabi naman nila kung saan ipapasa. So, i-scan mo siya. Or, ako kasi gumamit lang ako ng uh, picture ng camera, ng phone, tapos yung scanner, application yun. So, parang nag scan siya. So, required yun. Kailangan, kailangan mong ipasa yun para makomplete mo yung um, requirements. I hope nakatulong ako to share to you kung ano yung mga expect nyo ay yung mga requirements na kailangan nyo as ikasuhin.
before the board exam and then what to expect during the board exam and then after the board exam. And I am praying for you kung ano mang course nyo or ano mang profession nyo iti-take nyo, I am praying for you. Kayang-kaya niyan. Just make yourself healthy. Um, before the board exam, kumino kayo ng ramen tubig, vitamins, magpalakas kayo, huwag kayo magpuyat na magpuyat lang. So, make sure din na alagaan yung sarili nyo kasi mahirap magkasakit before the board exam kasi baka maka-apekto yun sa pag -e exam nyo at the same time sa mga requirements nila. You have, you really have to take care of yourself. Hindi lang para makapasa ako, di maging healthy din. So, I'm sure kayang-kaya nyo yan. Just do your best. Pray, pray, pray kung para sa'yo, ipipigay yan sa'yo ni Lord. Be strong, guys. Walang susuko. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please click the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Stay safe, everyone. God bless. See you on my next video. Bye.